We often think about debugging our code, but did you know that you can debug your tests as well? Welcome back to this video tutorial series on PyTest in PyCharm. Let's add a new line here to break the test, just so we can see how the debugger works. And look, we have our failing test. Who uses print statements to debug their code? Yes, you could put in a print statement and run your code without the debugger, but it's not really going to help you because PyTest will capture the output. Plus, more importantly, it's really not very efficient. Fine, we won't use a print statement then. Correct, let's use the debugger instead. Click in the gutter to add a breakpoint, select the run icon from the gutter and drop it down so you can run your test using the debugger. PyCharm has stopped executing the code on the line where we placed the breakpoint and uh-oh, player under one has an empty list of guardians. If we're still unsure, we can go a step further. We can select the line, right click, and use evaluate expression. And now we can see the problem. We've stopped in our test code, right? Not our actual code. Right, but you can click step into that and poke around in there as well. Again, we can highlight the code, tweak it, and then use evaluate expression this time from the debug tool window. In here, you can type new expressions, assign different values to variables, or even create new ones. The debugger is a really powerful tool for both your actual code and your tests. You can put those print statements down, put a breakpoint in, and run your code using the debugger. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this content and you'd like a notification for our final video in this PyTest in PyCharm video tutorial series. In the meantime, you can use this QR code to pop over to our JetBrains guide where you can view more PyTest in PyCharm content.